to correctly wire a 230 or 208 volts window air conditioning unit, it's important to use the right materials and follow proper safety procedures. Based on the unit's specifications of 230 or 208 volts and 10.8 or 11.7 amps and 2566 watts, a 10 slash 2 American wire gauge wire, a 20 amp double pole breaker, and a 250 volts receptacle are appropriate. Firstly, and most importantly, turn off the power to the circuit at the breaker panel before beginning any work. This is a critical safety step. Secondly, connect the black wire from the window air conditioning unit to the black terminal on the double pole breaker. Make sure the connection is secure. Thirdly, connect the red wire from the window air conditioning unit to the red terminal on the double pole breaker, ensuring a tight connection. Fourthly, connect the white wire from the window air conditioning unit to the neutral terminal on the breaker panel. Fifthly, connect the green or bare copper ground wire from the window air conditioning unit to the ground terminal on the breaker panel. The good ground is essential for safety. Sixthly, install the 250 volts receptacle. The black wire connects to the brass terminal, the red wire connects to the silver terminal, the white wire connects to the white terminal and the green or bare copper ground wire connects to the green terminal. Seventhly, once all wiring is complete and you've double checked all connections, turn the power to the circuit back on at the breaker panel. Some important safety notes to keep in mind are firstly, always turn off the power before working on any electrical wiring. Never assume a circuit is de-energized. Always test it with a voltage tester. Secondly, use proper safety gear, including gloves and eye protection when working with electricity. Thirdly, ensure all connections are tight and secure. Loose connections can cause overheating and electrical fires. It is highly recommended to have your work inspected by a qualified electrician to ensure it meets local electrical codes and is safely installed. Electrical codes vary by location and a professional electrician will be familiar with the specific requirements in your area. They can also identify any potential hazards you may have overlooked. When selecting a breaker, it's important to understand its purpose. A breaker is designed to protect the circuit from overcurrents. If the current exceeds the breaker's rating, the breaker will trip, interrupting the flow of electricity and preventing damage to the wiring and appliances. The 20 amp breaker is appropriate for the 10.8 or 11.7 amps load of the air conditioner, providing a safety margin without being oversized. The wire gauge is also crucial. American Wire Gauge, or AUG, is a standardized wire gauge system used predominantly in the United States for the diameters of round, solid, non-ferrous, electrically conducting wire. The 10 slash 2 AWG wire is suitable for a 20 amp circuit and the current draw of the air conditioner. Using a wire gauge that is too small can lead to overheating and potentially a fire hazard. The receptacle must be rated for the voltage and amperage of the air conditioner. A 250 volts receptacle is appropriate for a 230 or 208 volt circuit. Make sure the receptacle is properly grounded. Grounding provides a path for stray current to flow back to the source, reducing the risk of electric shock. When making wire connections, use appropriate wire connectors, such as wire nuts or crimp on connectors. Make sure the connectors are properly sized for the wire gauge and number of wires being connected. Twist the wires together tightly before applying the connector. Securely tighten the connector to ensure a good electrical connection. When working with electrical wiring, it's also important to be aware of the National Electrical Code, or NEC. The NEC is a set of standards for safe electrical installations. It provides guidance on wire sizing, breaker selection, grounding, and other aspects of electrical wiring. Familiarize yourself with the NEC requirements in your area. Specific NEC articles that may be relevant include Article 210.21 Bone regarding receptacle ratings and Article 240.4D regarding overcurrent protection for conductors. Additionally, Article 440 covers air conditioning and refrigerating equipment. It's essential to consult the latest edition of the NEC for the most up-to-date information. When installing the air conditioner, follow the manufacturer's instructions carefully. 
The instructions will provide specific information on how to install the unit properly, including wiring instructions. Do not deviate from the manufacturer's instructions. Ensure the air conditioner is properly supported and secured. A loose or unstable air conditioner can be a safety hazard. Periodically inspect the wiring and connections for any signs of damage or wear. If you notice any problems such as frayed wires or loose connections, repair them immediately. Consider using a surge protector to protect the air conditioner from voltage spikes. Voltage spikes can damage electronic components and shorten the lifespan of the air conditioner. Before working on any electrical wiring, it's a good idea to take a class or training course on basic electrical safety. This will help you understand the principles of electricity and how to work safely with electrical systems. If you are not comfortable working with electrical wiring, it's best to hire a qualified electrician to do the work for you. Electricity can be dangerous, and it's not worth taking risks. Remember to always double-check your work and follow all safety precautions. With careful planning and execution, you can safely and effectively wire a 230 or 208 volts window air conditioning unit. In addition to the NEC, local electrical codes may also apply. These codes can vary from city to city or county to county. Check with your local building department to find out what electrical codes are in effect in your area. Local codes may have more stringent requirements than the NEC. Obtaining the necessary permits is also essential before starting any electrical work. Permits ensure that the work is inspected by a qualified electrical inspector. The inspector will verify that the work meets all applicable codes and standards. Failure to obtain the proper permits can result in fines and penalties. Also, make sure to use the correct type of wire connectors for the application. Wire nuts are commonly used for connecting solid wires. Crimpon connectors are often used for connecting stranded wires. Use the correct crimping tool to ensure secure connection. Do not use tape as a substitute for wire connectors. Tape can dry out and crack over time, leading to loose connections. When working with multiple wires, it can be helpful to label them to avoid confusion. Use wire markers or labeling tape to identify each wire. This will make it easier to troubleshoot A problems in the future. If you are unsure about any aspect of the wiring process, consult with a qualified electrician. It is always better to be safe than sorry. Electricity is a powerful force and it should be treated with respect. Another point to consider is the proper grounding of the air conditioning unit. The grounding wire should be connected to a grounding electrode system which typically consists of a ground rod or a metal water pipe that is in contact with the earth for at least 10 feet. A grounding electrode system provides a low impedance path for fault current to flow back to the source helping to protect against electric shock. Make sure the grounding electrode system is properly installed and maintained. Also, when selecting a receptacle, make sure it is a NEMA 6 20 r receptacle. This type of receptacle is specifically designed for 20 amps, 250 volts applications. Do not use a standard 15 amps receptacle as it may not be able to handle the current draw of the air conditioner. Furthermore, when connecting the wires to the receptacle, make sure the screws are tightened securely. Loose screws can cause overheating and arcing, which can lead to a fire. Use a screwdriver that is the correct size for the screws. Do not over tighten the screws, as this can damage the receptacle. Additionally, consider using a Torx screwdriver to ensure that the screws are tightened to the proper Torx specification. The Torx specification will be listed on the receptacle packaging. Always remember that electrical work can be dangerous if it is not done properly. If you are not comfortable working with electricity, it is best to hire a qualified electrician. A qualified electrician will have the knowledge, skills, and experience to safely and effectively wire the air conditioning unit. They will also be familiar with the latest electrical codes and standards. In addition to following all safety precautions, it is also important to be organized and methodical when working with electrical wiring. Start by carefully planning the wiring layout. Identify the location of the breaker, the receptacle, and the air conditioning unit. Determine the best way to run the wires between these components. Use a wire stripper to remove the insulation from the wires. 
Be careful not to nick or damage the conductors. Use a wire bender to bend the wires to the proper shape. This will make it easier to connect the wires to the terminals. Use a level to ensure that the receptacle is mounted straight. A crooked receptacle can be unsightly and can make it difficult to plug in appliances. After completing the wiring, test the circuit with a voltage tester to make sure it is working properly. If you find any problems, troubleshoot the circuit until you find the cause of the problem. Remember, safety is always the top priority. Take your time, follow all safety precautions and double check your work. With careful planning and execution, you can safely and effectively wire a 230 or 208 volts window air conditioning unit. It's also good practice to document your work. Take photos or videos of the wiring before you close up the electrical boxes. This documentation can be helpful for troubleshooting any problems in the future. Keep a copy of the wiring diagram and any relevant information about the circuit in a safe place. This will make it easier for future electricians to understand the wiring. Consider using a circuit breaker analyzer to test the performance of the breaker. A circuit breaker analyzer can measure the trip time and other parameters of the breaker. This could help you identify any problems with the breaker before it fails. If you are using a ground fault circuit interrupter or GFCI breaker, test it regularly to make sure it is working properly. A GFCI breaker is designed to protect against electric shock by interrupting the circuit when it detects a ground fault. To test a GFCI breaker, press the test button on the breaker. The breaker should trip immediately. If the breaker does not trip, it is not working properly and should be replaced. Also, consider using arc fault circuit interrupter or SI breakers. SI breakers are designed to protect against fires caused by arcing faults. Arcing faults can occur when there is a loose connection or damaged insulation in a wire. SI breakers can detect these faults and interrupt the circuit before a fire starts. SI breakers are required by the NEC in many areas of the home. In addition to the wiring of the air conditioning unit itself, it is also important to consider the overall electrical system in your home. Make sure your home's electrical system is adequate to handle the additional load of the air conditioning unit. If your electrical system is overloaded, it can lead to problems such as trip breakers, flickering lights, and overheating wires. If you are unsure whether your electrical system is adequate, consult with a qualified electrician. They can perform a load calculation to determine the capacity of your electrical system and recommend any necessary upgrades. It is also important to be aware of the potential hazards associated with working with electricity. Electricity can cause serious injury or death. Always take precautions to protect yourself from electric shock. Wear rubber gloves and safety glasses when working with electrical wiring. Use insulated tools. Never work on electrical wiring when you are wet or standing in water. If you are not comfortable working with electricity, hire a qualified electrician to do the work for you. Lastly, remember that electrical codes and standards are constantly evolving. Stay up to date on the latest changes to the NEC in your local electrical codes. This will help you ensure that your electrical work is safe and compliant. You can find information about the NEC and local electrical codes on the websites of the National Fire Protection Association, or NFPA, and your local building department. You can also attend continuing education courses to stay up to date on the latest electrical codes and standards. By following these guidelines, you can safely and effectively wire a 230 or 208 volt window air conditioning unit and ensure that your electrical system is safe and reliable. Remember, when working with electricity, safety is always the top priority. Take your time, follow all safety precautions, and double-check your work. If you have any doubts, consult with a qualified electrician.